inches. A crossfield pass by Broddle, forcing Pittman to play a precarious lob towards his keeper, but Paul Mathers keeping his cool and heading clear under pressure from Dare. But Mathers was given no chance in the 20th minute, when Noel Blake met Dare's cross perfectly to head into his own net, 1-0. Seven minutes later, a moment of controversy. Shaw crossing low into the box, Neil McCann having a go, but his shot struck Wraith substitute John McStay. To almost everyone's amazement, referee Martindale pointed to the penalty spot. The ball did appear to strike McStay's arm, but surely there was no intent. The referee convinced, though, McStay booked. Shaw converted from the spot to make it 1-1. If McStay thought then he was having a bad afternoon, worse was to follow. 39 minutes gone, when he puts on this tackle on McCann, the Dundee fans screaming for his dismissal. Mr Martindale duly obliging, a second yellow and an obligatory red meant McStay on the field only for 17 minutes. 1-1 at the interval, but Dundee with the extra man advantage, stepping up the pressure in the second half. And it paid off, No Blake scoring for the Dens Park side. It wasn't as spectacular though as his own goal. Two minutes later, Dundee had a great chance to extend their lead. John McQuillan chipping over Thompson, but somehow Sean Dennis managing to keep the ball out. Next, it was George Shaw's turn to have a go. The newly bought striker, though, seeing his effort going narrowly past. Wraith's defence was struggling under pressure as Dundee turned the screw. Morton Vikos letting loose from close range, Scott Thompson producing that remarkable save. Dundee had the ball in the net in the 79th minute. Vakehorst again denied by Thompson, but Jerry Britton on hand to score, or so he thought, but the goal disallowed. With six minutes remaining and against the run of play, Wraith equalised, Gordon Dale the scorer, the Wraith fans dancing in the dark. And then it looked like victory for Dundee. The ball in the net once again, but once more the flag went up and they were denied the two points they surely deserved. Yeah, very disappointed um, losing the point today. Um, we didn't start the, the game too well, but you know we, we worked ourselves into it. And the second half really dominated the game. Uh, an awful lot of goal-scoring opportunities. Eventually scored, um, you know, to go into the lead. 